I've, I've got a, I have a, a couple of poems written about um, about the village. Um, the one I'm looking for, I don't have here. But hey, this is um, this is called Travelog. I, I do an awful lot of my writing when I'm out walking or when I'm on a train or when I'm on a journey. It's the only time I seem to have time to myself. Um, and this one was written on a on a cycle journey. It was a um, <coughs> a little trip from the town where I was working to the, to the village where I'm living. And it, it kind of describes the, the social history of the places I'm passing through as I'm, as I'm going. So I hope it feels a little bit like a, like a cycle journey. Keys rattle in the door. Two explosive revolutions burst into motion. Pull right into a swift freewheel down Hill du Bach to the foot of Jail Hill. Waiting in the dip where villains were dragged from the muddy banks of the Tally into their cells. I am imprisoned by potential escapees who drive their solitary confinement home with them, leaving empty the market town from which they drove the farmers. I glance past the angry red lights of the bridge, and then I'm over the river and through all Pensar I go, passing under the prisoners and out beyond them. The climb starts out of the town all the way to Adole, past bungalows, self-mocking, pseudo-aristocratic dormitories, a pub full of teachers and merchants locked in 1980. I'm working hard, class riding, sweating, daydreaming of the fields ahead, heel of arm, smell of freshly ploughed earth, before I re realise I'm approaching a aisle. I change into top gear, before I reach the brow, calf muscles aching sweetly. I pause opposite the turning to cross the Kirliog, the furthest point I will reach from the river. West, the sun is high as I. North, the rude red backside of B&Q warns me away from Cairo Ruddin. South, a glimpse of the sea. The estuary sparkles, beckons with the promise of a high tide. I follow, cruising now on watery legs, past lonely outposts of nonconformity, castles inhabited by a hen. Till I spy the cottage in the fork, leading me away along a different tongue, away from Llanethli to the ferry. I meander between farms, riding every crest and trough of the track with a victorious smile. Salty-faced I break, stand proud on the pedals, tall as I can, like Niagara, looking at the crossroads half a mile below, at the foot of a scarf and the head of another now, racing towards me, break skid, sharp right and down again, trusilloids salute the hawk hanging beside me, then into the deciduous tunnel, and touched by sunlight all day. A thousand prehistoric trafilod crash off my chest, head, sunglasses whipped by the chill breeze. Leveling out back into the scun, skip the humpback over the brook into the village. Ferry side, Lana Ferry. I'm going down the hill very quickly with this microphone stand. Turn left between the chapels before the square, pump across the road, then crunching gears up the steep gully beside the little white cabin at the foot of the hill. Hang the bike and a tierbach next to the oil tank. Drag a chair through the front door into the sun. Strip off my vest and sprawl, letting the sun turn the rivulets of sweat into dusty white tracks of salt, washed away by cold lager spilt between bottle and thirsty and pinched mouth. Nothing to do but slip away beyond blue, calling lazy gossip to homecoming neighbours. Thank you.